Really happy we finally got to do this. Me too. We didn't order this. Yippee, yippee. Penn's Hockey, best served on ice. How do you have the patience to do that? I mean, McIntyre's been big all season, and you're coming in with a good chance in overtime, and you're able to wait him out like that. Yeah, um, you know, when you're when you're coming down the wall, uh, especially in overtime, sometimes you know those passes off the pads and stuff they get through guys, and all of a sudden it's a three on two, especially if I'm a D man, um, you know, going up there like that. So I think um, just faking the shot. I didn't really have anything. It took away, you know, the entire net there. So um, just faking a shot and then trying to change my angle to create something else and it worked out. Gotcha. How big was it for you guys to get that game tire late and have it be a clear goal after what happened in game? <laughs> yeah, no, it, it was it was huge. Um, I think it really gave us some momentum for the, the last part of the third and then going into overtime. Um, you know, if, if they tie it up, maybe they're coming into overtime with the, the momentum and, and a bit of a high. So. Um, what was Donatelli's message after the second, which was 10 minutes of the best hockey you guys have played in the postseason and then a, a rough 10 minutes? Yeah, um, you know, just to get back to how we were we were playing. Um, you know, we got a, we weren't gaining lines and we had a couple of tough changes. Um, you know, we just seemed a little bit panicky for the last part of that uh, second period. Um, you know, just to calm down and, and really get back to our game. And I think we did a pretty good job. How much are you guys looking forward to bringing the series back home and playing some games on Mohegan Sun Ice? Really excited. I'm um, excited to get back to the fans, uh, the home rink, and um, you know we're going to be pumped up. Uh, 